In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 30 through to 45. <clears throat> then the apostles gathered to Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said to them, Come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while, for there are many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. So they departed to a deserted place in the boat by themselves. But the multitudes saw them departing, and many knew him and ran there on foot from all the cities. And they arrived before them and came together to him. And Jesus, when he came out, he saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion for them because they were like sheep not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. When the day was now far spent, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and already the hour is late. Send them away so they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. But he answered and said to them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Shall we go and buy two hundred denarii worth of bread and give them something to eat? But he said to them, How many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, Five and two fish. And he commanded them to make them all sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in ranks in hundreds and in fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples who sat before them, and the two fish he divided among them all. So they all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments of the fish. Now those who had eaten the loaves were about five thousand men. Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he set them sent the multitude away. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants of yours. In this scripture reading today from St. Mark as a continuation, if you recall, recently we read the gospel, how Jesus sent the apostles out two by two to go before him and preach, to heal, calling people to repentance. Now we read in today's Gospel reading how when the apostles came back and they gathered them to Jesus and told him all things that had happened, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he knew because of the crowds and the people all around everywhere, they needed to have a bit of a rest, a bit of a time out. So they departed to a deserted place in the boat by themselves. But the multitudes saw them going and they followed very quickly after them to find them. They were seeking to hear from Jesus. Yes. 
Jesus, the word of God. Thou all ears, thou are listening. And of course, this is what Jesus then did for the day. Preached to them, healed them, blessed them. And as the day went on, the disciples then came up to him and said that they were concerned because of the multitude. And he said that you know, they said to him that the day had long gone. They need to go into the local villages and buy some bread so they can eat because they had nothing to eat. But Jesus said to them, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, shall we go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and give them something to eat? But he said, how many loaves do you have? Go and see. And they found out that they had five loaves of bread and two fish. And Jesus then said, commanded them to have, make them all sit down in groups on the green grass, in ranks of a hundred and, rank, and in fifties. Then he took the loaves of bread and the two fish, looked up to heaven, blessed and broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples and set before them, and the two fish he divided among them all. They are all eight and had their fill. They took up twelve baskets full of fragments and of fish. Remember, there were only five loaves and two fish to feel, feed this multitude. There are about five thousand men. That's not calling, uh, calling about the other people as well, the children. And then he ordered them to get into the boat and go to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he sent the multitude away. We read here how Jesus fed all that multitude, these 5,000, not only spiritual food, but food for the body, bread and fish. Nourishing spiritually and physically. We all need to be nourished. Yes, we know that. We need to eat. We need to eat food. But also our souls need to be nourished too. Spiritually. The word of God. Yes. We need to go to church as well. And receive the heavenly food. And the heavenly banquet. For the body and blood of Christ. Never forget that. Never. I urge you all to continually read the scriptures. Get to know Christ. Get to know God through Jesus Christ. Feed on the word of God. It will give you strength. Every day we have to battle against Satan and his demons. We need strength to fight. So I urge you all every day to give praise to God for the blessings he would bestow upon you. Give him the glory. Glory to God for all things and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.